it's a bit late, I know, but we just got to see a little visitor. And there he is, that's Harry. There he is, and he, he now, he's outside because he was getting bits of food all over the floor in here. He used to eat just down in that corner, but he eats there and in front, of course, is Hugo's. They don't uh, argue or they don't um, have any problem with each other. They just quietly, quietly <laughs> get in there. They just quietly get on and quietly Hugo walks around. The blessed Harry. See, can you see there close up is his little skirts? Can you see? This is live actually, live from the sunny suburbs of Cardiff where Harry is halfway through a rather large portion of the cat's leftovers. <laughs> this is life. I mean, I at my bed is, I say, well, f four feet, if that, away from him. Three feet, three and a half feet, maybe, because there's the door. When she normally comes in, I've forgotten to put a barrier there because he comes in and eats... Hugo's food. He's still there munching away. He actually is. <laughs> he's actually is quite a noisy eater. <laughs> Those double glazed French doors are keeping that. Keeping that from us at the moment. I'm a bit late actually today. I spent all evening in a Welsh Welsh National Party meeting. Very exciting. I don't know if you people are fed up with the way Wales is being run, but I am. And these guys are really motivated. I want money in the valleys, me. I want houses. I want jobs. That's what we all want. We haven't got it so far, so something's got to be done. I'm just talking of <laughs> Harry having a very late supper as a... Some of you just saw it is actually Monday night. And here he goes. Look, he's in a minute when he has a little thing that he does. He, he climbs inside the bowl. It's getting closer to the food. He's a funny little chap. There's not a lot going on up there. It's lucky that the outdoor light is on, otherwise we might struggle to see the little guy. Then again, perhaps he actually is... Set it off. I don't know if we can get in any. Just a wee bit closer. There you are. Oh, is that the closest you've ever been to a live hedgehog? Oh no. Oh no, the light has gone <coughs> off. Oh gosh. Aha. And then we have a bit too much light. He's not that... Um, oh, there he is. Not that keen on bright light. He's Harry. There he goes. He's had, he's had a bit now. and he's, he's not keen on the bright light, so... No doubt he'll... Oh, good Lord, there's hardly anything left. And then, like, Hugo, who's got um, plenty left. Well, that was Harry for you. <laughs> He's gone off wandering somewhere, but he'll be back when uh, this light is finally doused. And there's my electric willow tree, which is, I, I find quite a novel part of my garden. So something can be seen at night, as in the day. There it is. Just for twinkling in the very slight breeze. There. <laughs> well, I am now just going to pop this up. As you will all see. And now we have <laughs> Hugo's supper protected from the inquisitive Harry, my hedgehog. <laughs> 